Hi, and welcome to Mods. We're keeping you connected to inspiring science with virtual camp discovery, brought to you by Citrix, the museum's official innovation partner. Slow down for sea turtles. Learn how to spot a sea turtle nest on the beach and what to do if you encounter one. If you see a nest, let it rest. And here's another one. I see these little markings with the tape around it everywhere. Gosh, if only I had an expert around who could tell me what all this stuff means. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Fantastic. What's uh, up? So, you know, I see these markings here, uh, the little triangles with the tape around it everywhere. Yeah. I know it says sea turtle nest on it, but... Uh, and it also says caution, so it must be dangerous, right? It must be. Uh, can, you, can you tell us a little bit about what these things are when we see them on the beach? Yeah, of course. So, when we say caution, it means that we shouldn't disturb it, not that it is dangerous to us. So, and this is because this is a sea turtle nest. If you come over here, you can see little signs. They're here on every single turtle nest, and it says, do not disturb. And this is because sea turtles are endangered species. Out of the seven species of sea turtles in the world, five of them come here and nest in Florida, and they are endangered. So we got to protect them as much as possible. And this is to the point that messing with a turtle nest could actually get you in jail. So please don't do it. And mainly also for the turtles. So. As you can see, it looks like a regular old beach, right? Yeah. You, you, you wouldn't be able to tell that there's a turtle nest there. And this is found by people who come out early in the morning and they see the fresh nest and then they mark it so people like us don't disturb them. So how do those people recognize this as a sea turtle nest? Well, when it's fresh, you'll see a bunch of overturned sand, you'll see like a mound of sand, and more importantly, you would see turtle tracks leading back to the ocean. So. This nest seems very high up, the, up off the beach, but we're actually at low tide right now. The turtles would actually go to somewhere over about 20 feet from here. They would come here, dig their nest, and then go back to the ocean at night. And yeah, they find them at, in the morning with the tracks and the amount of sand. So they come out early in the morning because under the cover of darkness, it's harder for predators to see them. And turtles are very, very vulnerable out of water. In fact, female turtles are only on land twice in their entire lives, when they are born and when they come back to nest. So yeah, they're very heavy and very clumsy out of water. And things like raccoons, maybe even a roving Florida panther, if we were lucky, might get to eat a turtle. So I see these all over our beaches here, uh, all throughout the summer. So it, do you have a kind of estimate of like maybe how many turtles um, like how many uh, turtles come and nest here in Florida throughout the summer? Well, it's definitely in the thousands. We've actually seen like an uptick in the number of turtles that have been nesting here over the past few summers. So that's really good for the sea turtle population. Yeah. And uh, this is a sea turtle nest. So I'm guessing there are eggs down here. Uh, yeah. About how many eggs would be in a nest like this? Um, it's hard to tell about knowing what kind of turtle this is, but sea turtles on average lay about 80 to 100 eggs. So that's what's sitting down there. Okay, wow. Yeah. And then about how long does it take uh, for the turtles to, to hatch and kind of what is the scene like when those turtles hatch? Yeah, so again, it depends on the species of turtle, but it usually takes about six to eight weeks. And when the turtles come out of here, you'll see like a little sand volcano come out and then up top you'll spew all these little baby turtles that oh, are wow. very cute and they'll make a beeline straight to the ocean. So this, I see a sea turtle nest do not disturb sign on this too, but this is marked a lot differently. Why are we looking at a kind of fence over a log instead of uh, caution tape around that on this nest? Right, so one of the main reasons for this is to protect the sea turtles from predators such as raccoons and I guess maybe iguanas might dig in. But this is just an extra measure from us to protect the sea turtles from A, being disturbed by people, but B, also being eaten by species that may not be native to Florida, like the iguana. Wow, interesting. Another question I had for you is a lot of times during the summer, at least here in Florida, uh, we have laws where you can't have certain types of lights near the beach, like certain uh, apartment buildings or shops or restaurants or even the street lights have to turn off or switch to like a weird kind of dim red type color. Yeah. Uh, can you explain maybe why that is? Yeah, so during the summer is when turtles, turtles nest and where the hatchlings come. And when the hatchlings come out, the first place they want to go is the ocean. And in nature, the way they tell that is by following the brightest light on the horizon, which is usually the moon. 
but because of, especially here in Florida, we have stuff like hotels, restaurants, even cars on the road, they give up very bright lights. And this can really confuse the little baby sea turtles and they can't see very far or see very well. So they'll just follow the brightest light and what will happen is that if there is a bright light away from the ocean, they might actually end up following that and going the wrong way. And from there, their chances of survival go down a lot because they are more exposed to predators, they could end up being run over by a car, et cetera, et cetera. So let's say uh, that I'm at the beach at night or I'm maybe at one of those restaurants uh, and I see some baby turtles that have just hatched yeah. maybe going the wrong way. What should I do as a responsible citizen? Um, yeah, that's a really good question because as much as we might want to help the baby sea turtles go to the right direction, uh, we still should not touch them. We should not try to mess with them in any way. Unfortunately, at this point, even if they're going the wrong way, the correct thing to do is still let nature take its course. And more importantly, you can call people that actually know what to do and who are authorized to actually collect these baby sea turtles and bring them to the ocean. And you can do that by calling your local wildlife conservancy agency. Okay. And here in Florida, we will call the FWCC or the Florida Wildlife Conservation. And their number is 888-404-FWCC. Awesome. Well, I know a lot more about what I'm seeing when I encounter these things on the beach, and I hope you do too. So we'll see you again next time. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Virtual Camp Discovery. Special thanks to Citrix, Mod's official innovation partner for powering this series. Please stay safe and connected with Mods by visiting our social channels at MODSFTL.